What to Play presents the top 15 PC VR games. The play score is an average of gamer and critic ratings. Starting off at number 15 is Wilson's Heart. This Oculus Rift exclusive puts you right in the center of the action. Twisted Pixel Games' VR horror adventure makes use of the platform to bring players fully into the interactive cinematic experience. Set in a black and white world, put yourselves in the shoes of Robert Wilson as he discovers his heart has been replaced by a mysterious device. Unlike most VR games that feel more like extended demos, Wilson's Heart lets you explore a complete narrative with 6 to 8 hours of content. A little lack in terms of interactivity and combat, it more than makes up for it with their atmosphere, all-star cast, and engaging puzzles. It has a play score of 8.13. Number 14, Kronos. Another win for the Oculus Rift. From the makers of Darksiders 3, Gunfire Games makes a jump to virtual reality with an action RPG that revolves around the concept of time. For longtime fans of Legend of Zelda, Kronos has just the kind of charm to draw you in, especially considering their satisfying combat, intriguing puzzles, and wondrous environments. Time comes in the picture with every death, adding another year to your age. You'll get new perks, sure, but it comes with grayer hair and slower reactions until you eventually die of old age. It's an interesting game that while not fully making use of the VR's capabilities, offers one of the few full game experiences on the platform. It has a play score of 8.23. Up next is Raw Data. From the same studio that bought us Arizona Sunshine comes this gorgeous sci-fi shooter. In Servius Raw Data, we come to a robotic future where we play as hackers plotting to bring down Eden Corp's sinister robot line. In a somewhat ironic twist, Raw Data lets you become the weapon itself. You'll have to rely on your own reflexes to deflect projectiles and fight in close combat, all while uncovering a narrative that waxes philosophical. Even as one of the first wave VR games, Raw Data manages to nail the wave shooter formula at their first try. Overall, it's a grand package of style and substance, and it's available on both Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. It has a play score of 8.25. Speaking of style and substance, at number 12 is Form. An exclusive for the HTC Vive, this indie puzzler from Charm Games immerses us in a short, albeit memorable trip into the mind of one Dr. Devin Eli. As usual with some VR games, Form is an incredibly short experience with only about an hour of content. Taking us deep into fever dreams and bewildering conundrums, this VR puzzler is packed with hypnotic and psychedelic visuals, letting you take your time with their puzzles and their labyrinthine halls. Form may not have much in terms of function, but it set the standards for VR atmosphere and it's definitely worth checking out. It has a play score of 8.33. And number 11, I expect you to die. Bring out your three-piece suits and dry martinis for this unique puzzle game from Shell Games. Featuring yet another lovable narrator a la Stanley Parable, I Expect You to Die does a good job of capturing the ridiculous risks of secret agenthood in a small VR package. Aside from its puzzles and escape the room scenarios, it has also been praised for its tight controls that come in handy when dealing with poison pens and dynamite, you know, the everyday of the secret spy. Expertly crafted and hilarious in its delivery, I Expect You to Die is an essential VR puzzler with a score of 8.33. Next up is Overload. Developed by the same team that gave us Descent, this modern revival of the 90s FPS classic captures the high-octane atmosphere of the original in the world of virtual reality. Introducing the modern generation to the old, Revival serves us up with a 15-level single-player campaign that's wrapped in the beauty of today's visuals. But you can also take your friends along for the ride in public and private multiplayer matches. Most noted for the liberating feel of their air combat, enjoy the fierce action in six degrees of freedom as you annihilate robots, rescue hostages, and so much more. It has a play score of 8.33. At number 9 is Brass Tactics. Unlike the kind of immersive worlds that other VR games offer, Brass Tactics takes on a different kind of action with a virtual twist on the RTS genre. While it doesn't stray too much from the usual formula, Brass Tactics excels in giving a feel of the battlefield, as well as a clear view of all the chaos that commences. 
Tactile is how Upload VR described it, citing the ease of picking things up, interacting with the world, and directing the action. Offering both competitive and cooperative multiplayer options, it might not be too much of an RTS upgrade, but it remains the best at VR RTS, a play score of 8.38. Number 8 is The Lab. From one of the most respected studios in the business, it's no wonder The Lab became one of the first VR titles to take the world by storm. That is, aside from being absolutely free. Set inside the infamous Aperture Science Lab, Valve now has a smorgasbord of replayable minigames instead of the usual snarky AI. A haven for VR delights, their array of minigames include taking care of a bionic canine, preparing robots, exploring human anatomies, defending castles, becoming a Sortex ace, and so much more. Available on both the Oculus and the HTC Vive, this VR sampler gets a play score of 8.4. Number 7 is A Fisherman's Tale, the latest release on this list and it's another wondrous puzzler to tickle our brains in real time. As part of the crop of today's more refined VR games, Fisherman's Tale shows off its flair in visuals and gameplay. Featuring a mind-bending story about a fisherman and his trippy diorama, it's easily one of the most interesting puzzlers on the market. It excels in both immersion and narrative, showing off just what the VR can be capable of. But while it's a genuine gem, the game is still cursed with the platform's usually short playtime. A bit of a drawback in an otherwise awesome title, it gets a rating of 8.43. Number 6, Thumper. Jewel's creative debut gave birth to a whole new genre. Rhythm violence, as they call it. This unique take on the rhythm genre lets you maneuver a space beetle in a mysterious Lovecraftian quest in space. Dodge obstacles, ride through its neon lit walls, and time your actions right to successfully eliminate an alien threat and nab that high score. It seamlessly blends dark sci fi with its addictive rhythm elements, overcome its hundreds of stages, and fight the lingering cosmic horror with your VR gear. Available on all VR units, it receives receives a play score of 8.56. Counting down at number 5 is Dirt Rally. Codemaster's rally-focused VR racer lets you white-knuckle your way through treacherous terrains and survive long enough to make it to the finish line. With their unforgiving tracks and realistic hurdles, this Oculus exclusive teaches the virtues of hard work and patience in the hardest but most addicting way possible. Make your way through rain-dipped valleys and give in to the heat of overheating engines, punctured tires, and other time-consuming repairs. It's hair-pulling diversion that's sprinkled with the rugged delights of the road less traveled. It has a Play score of 8.62. 4 is Robo Recall. Epic Games' free action packed VR shooter provides the endless fun of graphically appealing robots in a seamless FPS experience. The world is taken over by rogue machines, and you are tasked to survive this mechanical onslaught. Choose from a wide arsenal of various weapons, ranging from your bare fists to a high powered machine gun. Shoot him, punch him, or smash them together. This Oculus exclusive relies on reflexes, skills, and awareness, so keep your heads up, it has a play score of 8.63. Getting awfully close at number 3 is Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, the best and quickest way to end friendships. This virtual reality party game puts time pressure to a whole new level. Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes is simple. One reads an instruction manual, and another one tries to defuse a ticking time bomb. The twist is that nobody gets to see what they're looking at. Seeing eye to eye on the various symbols and tasks will be a hilarious test of patience and communication skills. Playable on all VR machines, it receives a play score of 8.66. Next up is Super Hot VR. Super Hot Team's fantastic and immersive shooter is a labor of love. Made by a passionate group of individuals, this virtual reality experience is different compared to its non-VR version. Step into a mysterious matrix where you lose track of what is real and confront it in stylish first-person shooter battles against red-clad foes. And to make it interesting is its fancy bullet time mechanic where you can slow down time, manipulate the environment, and take advantage of the overwhelming odds. It has a play score of 8.69. And finally, at number one is Lone Echo, one of the most impressive VR games on the market. As a robot, you are tasked to repair or do mechanical overhauls on a ship in deep space. Every motion is controlled by how you push and pull your hands along ledges using the Oculus Touch. 
This Oculus exclusive makes for a seamless navigation around the game's beautiful backdrops. The free-flowing effects introduces the player to a whole new VR experience. It's a deep and enthralling experience in space, and it receives a play score of 8.84. So that's it for today here at What to Play. If you love this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to become a certified What to Player. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye.